Hi and welcome back. Um, <clears throat> in this very quick tutorial, I'm not going to make the same mistake that I made previously with the Arcway. I'm not going to just model it and then find a texture for it. I'm going to um, create my model based on the texture. So I'm going to create a wall, uh, or a plane even. Convert to the poly, uh, press M. I have already found uh, this texture from CG Textures in order to save time so that I don't have to uh, look through images while I'm recording. Um, I am going to find that image, hopefully, which is in Textures, JPEGs, and um, that door, I think, as well. I'm going to put that there, make sure I see it, put a UVW map on top, say bitmap fit, and click on the image again so that it has the right resolution. Okay, in this case, what I'm going to do, um, convert to the poly. I have these subdivisions, which to be honest, I didn't really want. So I'm going to um, get rid of the subdivisions and start again. Um, I mean, well, not start again, but you know, have my own subdivisions in there. Okay, um, so let's create subdivisions then. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to click on preserve UVs and I'm going to bring that down here. And I'm going to turn snap off. And of course, um, this one is only about the door, so we're not really concerned about the um, the arc itself. And of course, there is only half of the door anyway because it's going to be duplicated. Um, so let's create um, the door. I'm going to divide this curved bit with the rest of it. So I'm going to get a connection, put that, let's say, there. And I'm going to select these two and I'm going to create about uh, a few connections here. And I'm going to move these down so that. I only cover the door. I might need, oops, just one more connection here. I might actually select the whole line and move it inwards a little. Okay. I'm going to target well these to the side. Um, actually, before I do that, um, what I may want to do is select all of um, these and give it an inset. What I should probably do is put a UVW map on top and say. Um, map fit to this here and just move that into place uh, let me open up this um, application again so you can see what I'm doing okay Tiny bit wider. I'll do. Okay. And go back to Adobe Poly. <coughs> and then have this uh, showing result on. And then this way, when we uh, move things around. Um, we won't get too much distortion, so hopefully. Okay, so let's inset that up to here. Of course, I may need to uh, get some of these. Oops. Detail and move them around manually in order to accommodate this shape.
and then I'm, I think I'm going to <coughs> um, make another insert here and then another insert up to there oh that's just going too much okay let's just uh, work with what we have here Inserting them one more time, but making sure that I don't um, actually I might not insert it again because it might just become too much detail. So I'm just going to select. These polygons here and uh, give it a tiny screw just for that additional detail. And I'm even um, actually hold control and click on the edge, and then chamfer the uh, edges a tiny bit, not too much. That's fine. Um, I want to do an inset here as well, but that would just be too much detail. I mean, um, yeah, that would be just too much. Sorry, too much here. Why has it? Um, why has it done this? I have no idea. How did I chamfer this? What did I chamfer? Let's have a look. If we we'll turn this off, I'll turn that off. What do I have select? Oh, I see why. Because I also have um, these lines selected. Chamfer those now. Chamfer. Okay. Okay. Uh, back to Ezio Poly. Show and result. Um, create two connections there. Bring one up here. Bring the other one up there, and then extrude this out. And then make more connections. Um, I would say let's just make one connection for now. Putting it here. I will select this one and this one and insert them, but as polygons individually. Put them put that there. Um, select these points and move them here. Select these points and move them over here. Select these points and move them up here. And we can select them and Inset tiny bit, and then I'm just gonna turn that off so I can see. Sorry, turn this off so I can see better what I'm doing. I'm gonna select all of these, and make sure the map. Select the edges connected, but deselect 
these edges. Actually, I'll probably just leave that as it is. I don't want too much detail, so that's fine. So this is how that kind of looks like. But no, that detail is that chamfered edges. I love chamfer. Let's just chamfer this. Let's chamfer it. Let's chamfer it. Um, okay, so let's deselect these. And put a chamfer modifier on top of that. It's probably a little bit too much. So let's go back. Strong result. It's looking much better. <coughs> what I may even do is create a sphere and say um, four sides and then convert it to editable poly. And delete this one. Um, actually, so there's only a few there. And I could put that, probably make it a little, little thing smaller. Put one there. Shift drag, drag it over here and add a few. An additional one right here. And A couple of extra ones there. Shift and rotate these is a hundred and eighty degrees. Put them over here. Actually, why do I do that? That is not what I wanted to do. So look, um, just delete those actually. And let's mirror these with a copy on the why do I not see the effect is it just me or nothing's happening mirror all of that in X Y Z no nothing that is very strange let's group them and then mirror them I can either work and get a copy in the y-axis bring it down here and of course ungroup these and ungroup the other ones as well so they're individual objects I can select this kind of uh, in editable poly select the board and just shift drag that inside okay so now what we need to do is go to Photoshop, open up our uh, texture, which is here somewhere, there. Copy that and bring it in. Um, just going to bring down one of the top layers. Um, maybe just make it a little bit bigger for now and let's get rid of all the uh, unnecessary detail all the detail that we don't need which means this which also means half of the door and this side and this and we can't really do much about that or with what we could, but we don't need to. I'm going to put that here. I'm going to Control T, Shift and drag that. And say so done. Save it. And I'm going to select this. Convert to the poly. And I'm going to click on Attach. I'm going to go in and I'm going to click on these objects. I could get the Attach menu, so I could select them, uh, attach them based on name, but then I would have to select, deselect everything else, all the other objects which are isolated. So that's fine. I'm going to put a unwrap texture on this and I'm going to say open UV editor. But no, before I do that, I'm going to close that. I forgot to put the actual um, material on this, which is this one. 
sorry, it's not that one, it's this one. Uh, Unwrap PV Editor, Open UV Editor, and we have these extra, extra, extra stuff, uh, which I believe is what I extruded in, if I'm not wrong. Or maybe they, I don't know what they are. Or something, not sure what, but they're in there. Doesn't matter. Um, just move them up there. Okay, let's open up our texture. Let's select this and let's put it exactly where it belongs. Uh, the best way or the easiest way is to as uh, align the one of the top corners and then align the opposite bottom corner. So if I do the top right corner, I'm going to come here and do the bottom left corner. So there. <coughs> and that sits in perfectly. Now I do have stretching over here where I extrude it, but it's so little that you can't even see. So I'm not even going to bother about that. Oh, I actually had the. Uh, these points here as well, which I probably ignore. Hold on. There, so you can't see them. Don't need extra geometry. Okay, so we are just left with uh, the um, polygons here. I'm trying to be very quick because I think uh, we're about to close the office and the college, so I don't want to be the only person in the uni. I will probably be kicked out soon should appreciate this open UV yeah, this is what I'm looking for it's not even here okay unwrap open in editor uh, put the texture here I think they're coming to throw me out yep the guys here um, <coughs> there we go Almost. Just let me do one in two minutes. Oh, no, okay. Fine. Thank you. <coughs> okay. Let's uh, turn that off. Um, okay. I'm gonna. I am so gonna mess this up because I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Because it's the thickness of the door. I don't really, really, really care about it. So I'm just gonna put that there. How does How does it look? It, lo it looks semi fine but there's that real annoying thing there who cares that's it you do it better I don't care you do yours better I even forgot to can you believe it I forgot to do this okay let's just unwrap that quickly because I don't want to keep this guy waiting he want to go home he's tired poor guy put that there deal with it that's what that is Right click, convert to the poly, that's the door done. Done. Just resize it so it fits within your um, arcway. That's it. Thank you. See you next video. Whatever. Bye.